So these two EMFs generated in primary and secondary winding must be related with some constant so that we can easily transfer the quantities from one side to other. So in that case, we can relate them by an expression. If we secondary winding mein jo EMF induce hua, usko primary winding mein induce EMF se divide kare is equation ko, what we obtain is E2 by E1 is equal to N2 by N1 and this may be represented by a ratio constant that is K or in ko hum iske alawa bhi do quantity se proportionate kar sakte hain that is V2 and V1 where V1 is the supply voltage side terminal terminals per jo supply voltage de raha hai or V2 is the load side terminals per jo voltage appear ho raha hai. Is constant K ko hum kahenge voltage transformation ratio. voltage transformation ratio which is giving us relation between EMFs induced and number of turns in primary and secondary winding. For step up transformer what should be the relation? Step up transformer does what? Low voltage ko high voltage mein change kar raha from primary to secondary to K should be what? Your V2 or E2 should be higher. So, K should be less than 1, oh, sorry, more than 1. And on the same lines for a step down transformer, we can say as V2 would be less than V1, V2 would be less than V1, K must be less than 1. Okay? And one more thing. In ideal transformer, what happens? Losses are negligible. So, whatever voltage ampere input up in the transformer ki primary mein diya, wahi hume volt ampere output transformer ki secondary mein milna chahiye. Matlab V1 into I1 must be equal to V2 into I2. Isile transformer ki rating bhi KVA mein hoti hai. To fir is case mein hum is transformation ratio ko or modify kar sakte hain and we can also equate current values in primary and secondary by e i1 by i2 would be equal to v2 by v1 and therefore e2 by e1 and therefore n2 by n1 which is again equal to k. So this way we can relate all the quantities related to primary winding to all the quantities related to secondary winding.